Lindsay Cianci and welcome to the Courage to Rise show. We have our guest here, Jessica Itting. She is a wife and mom of two boys. She's a wellness advocate for doTERRA and loves helping people get introduced to natural solutions. And she also runs a multi-million dollar organization. So she's a leader in the wellness industry. And so we're so welcome. I mean, we're so excited to have you here. And you're going to talk to us a little bit about um, natural solutions. And so I'm really interested in how you started in, you know, started in this business. I mean, you were a massage therapist for 13, or you have been for 13 years. Are you still doing massage now, or? No, no. Um, thanks so much for having me too. So yeah, I was a massage therapist, like right out of high school, went to massage school, and then. Um, was in that industry, which I always loved helping people. So I think that was kind of that first introduction to, I wouldn't even say a natural lifestyle because I wasn't introduced to that side of it, but I was really loving the helping people. I can't handle seeing people in pain, <laughs> whether it's physical, emotional, whatever it is, it just kind of draws my heart, you know, into them and I want to be able to fix them. And so I was in that and I actually have been using essential oils in my practice, but I didn't really love what I was using and was done. I actually just threw them all away. And so then a friend introduced me to doTERRA. And um, if I back up just a little bit, when my son was born, so at this time when I was introduced, he was four. But um, when I was, when he was born, he was born with a really rare skin condition. And so he got really sick a lot and he couldn't have the majority of medications and it attacked his respiratory system, and I felt completely helpless. And so we started looking into natural things like natural cough syrups, um, you know, whatever we could get our hands on to try to support his body, because we were one of those parents that was coming in and the folder was getting thicker and thicker on your child, like, this is not okay, you know? Yeah. And, um, and before we knew it, like, it was just one of those things where we were like, we got to have answers. And so when my friend came to me, she's like, you got to try these oils. And I said, no. <laughs> and then she did, you know, she got my mom heart and she said, I think they could help your son. So I'm like, what? Tell me more, you know? So that's what dove us for like into it really was the opportunity to help my son that really piqued my interest. And it did, it was crazy to see the results that we found with using essential oils on him. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's, that's incredible. I mean, I, I remember just learning about doTERRA I mean I, I use it myself all the time um, and I remember being introduced as well and I mean a lot of people there was a, this was like I don't know probably nine ten years ago when it when did you start you started it's using? it hasn't been quite nine years so like eight years okay so yeah I think it was around the same time um, as well and you know it was you know there's a lot of people that say oh okay well you know they're they're oils or snake oil and you know, there's, mm -hmm. there was a lot used to be that people really didn't believe in natural solutions. And now there's right. so much evidence that's showing that this is so effective and so much better. Mm -hmm. um, and so for some of the people that are, that are listening or maybe just learning about essential oils or natural solutions, what are some of the things that have, you know, the research that shows that these actually are beneficial? Well, I think we have to actually really think about why we even go to the words snake oils. Because if we actually start looking at plant medicine, plant medicine's been around for ever, right? That's what they use. They didn't have antibiotics. They didn't have all of the, you know, get your hands on this pharmaceutical, um, you know, prescription, whatever that we have access to. They had to find their own solution. So in fact, in many countries, I was just in Brazil because we source our Copaiba there. Um, almost two years ago now, time goes by so fast. And it was amazing to walk with this lady with these plants and she's like, oh, this plant will do this and this plant will do that. And that is the way they lived. They, they're not out looking for that next prescription. They're actually looking for the plants. Now, one other thing I would remind people of is you can't say that you don't use um, plant-based medicine if you've ever used a pharmaceutical because all pharmaceuticals start as a plant-based, but they're synthesized. So when we start looking at um, cough syrups, for example, mm -hmm. all cough syrups actually have um, cineal in it, which cardamom, the essential oil cardamom, has one eight cineal. So when you look at the comparison, cough syrups over the counter have cineal, which is 
a chemical constituent in cardamom, but the only difference is, is cardamom is the natural extract and that we're getting all the natural benefits, no side effects, only side benefits, versus a cough syrup that actually has been synthesized what was started as plant-based medicine. Isn't that interesting? You know? Yeah. So I think people forget that it isn't new. It's just that we have, unfortunately, and some people won't like that I say this, we've become a, um, a world where we just listen instead of do our own research. We stopped taking our own intuition into mind and asking more questions. And we became, well, they said it was, well, they went to school. Well, let me tell you something. They're not trained in school about plants. They're not trained on nutrition in doctors, you guys. So we have to take back our control, you know, and our knowledge. Like we know it up here, but then our heart questions, how can this be if the doctor's telling me that that's not true? Well, guess what? Because they don't know either. So it's our job to actually educate doctors as well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And that's so true because I've had I've noticed that there's been a lot of doctors that are now going into it like functional medicine mm -hmm. and they're going into, which is an area that is really opening up to Eastern and Western medicine, including plant-based. I mean, there's so many new research coming out like about with, you know, PTSD and depression and anxiety. Yes. I mean, some of those disorders, but then also with chronic conditions and anti, um, just in general that plant-based, um, medicine is actually effective, really effective in the yeah. sense of like helping with the symptoms. I know we have to well, be careful think, about saying, you know, cure because of the FDA, you right. know, FDA, but, um, that's a whole nother conversation. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> don't get me started on that. <laughs> We're not going to get started on that, but you know, like, right. I mean, there's so many, I mean, I remember using this when I was in, um, grad school and I had mm -hmm. so much anxiety. That's how I got introduced to doTERRA, I had so much anxiety. I was struggling with my test, like taking tests. And I started to use it and it was like instant, instant, yeah. I felt better. I wasn't anxious, I wasn't hyperventilating. I was able yeah. to concentrate. Um, so, you know, it, it works. Well, and I think one of the scariest statistics today is really on anxiety. Um, and that there was a recent study that came out and don't quote me word for word because of course, now I'm like, I'm going to get a piece of it, but not the whole thing. But they're actually saying that even as therapists, that we're seeing an overwhelming response of not knowing how to actually help with the amount of people that are coming in with the anxiety and stress. Mm -hmm. So we know that it's a problem. We know that that's on the rise. And, um, you know, that's one of my favorite things is actually been able to introduce people to our adaptive line because we've seen such amazing results. And when you break down even, you know, as far as the essential oil blend, having oils that are going to balance hormones that are going to be calming to the mind, but then you go to the adaptive, um, the supplement, which actually has ahi flower, which connects the gut health and the brain. We know that that's in direct correlation, mm -hmm. but only that has selenium and that's going to help with our fight or flight. We live in a constant state of our cortisol way up where we've got to start getting our cortisol levels back in range. <laughs> oh Yeah. Yeah. And when you're, and when you have somebody in that range, constantly in that range, that's where illness comes in. That's where disease comes in because your body can't live at that, at that level all the time. And so that, yeah, I was curious about this, this new product that you have, um, because I have a lot of my clients that have, that have anxiety and stress yeah. and people who are watching here, if you've had any trauma or adversity, or, um, you know, grief, anything that's a major challenge in your life, mm -hmm. that stress, that stress response gets activated. And so yeah. these are, these are great solutions, including, you know, better than taking a, like a benzodiazepine, which is a, you know, Xanax or Ativan that can sometimes, you know, can, for many people can be addictive I and mean, people right. are addicted to it. And then you have the side effects too, which can be really dangerous. You know, if, if you, aren't prepared. And I think that's the other thing is a lot of people don't read side effects. You know, there, there was recently, um, a, a study like actually showing that the average, I think it's like 65 year old is on 13 plus medications and only two or three are actually to treat the current condition, but the rest are treating side effects. And so that's, that's the world, you know, that's what I'm saying we have solutions. It's whether or not you're willing to ask more questions and then actually do some research and play around. Because even with 
you know, we know with antibiotics, for example, when you go to the doctor and they give you one, what do they say? Like if something you have a response to it or it doesn't work, come back in mm -hmm. and they're going to switch it. Well, we don't even question that. Like that's not even something that we think twice about. We're like, oh, okay, this may not work. We call back in, we go in and say, hey, this isn't working. Here you go, try this one. We don't question that. However, when it comes to essential oils, I've had people say like, it didn't work. I'm like, well, how many times did you use it? Once. I'm like, okay, well, did you use your antibiotic once? You know, did you use this one? No, of course not. And, you know, be patient with it and realize too that just like everything in life, we have to give it a try and we have to be willing to try multiple things, you know, because our body chemistry is all different. So for myself, I have incredible results with aromatouch when I have any kind of muscle pain or headaches, but for someone else, they have to go straight peppermint, you know? It just shows how different our bodies are. So, you know, with looking at anxiety and stress, there is an answer, I promise you, that you'll find something, but you may have to try multiple oils. You know, it may not be the first one. Yeah. And there's also, I mean, there's so many, so many options for, mm -hmm. for essential oils. And then other, there's also other natural products that are out there, you know, herbs, you know, turmeric yes. is one of them that, and yes. copaiba, I, I can't even copaiba. Yeah. Copa 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 yeah. Um, do you mind sharing a little bit about those, those two in particular? Cause we hear a lot about it in the news about. Those yeah. Two. Yeah. So one of the things with, you know, turmeric is again, when we start thinking about our body as a whole inflammation, inflammation is the root cause to everything, to every disease. Um, it's, it's that onslaught because again, our body is living in a state of fight or flight because it's constantly inflamed. And so what I love is when you're looking at um, turmeric, then we're able to look at the anti-inflammatory properties that are in the, I'm going to say wrong, the kermicoids, kermicoids <laughs> within the, the, one of the constituents in turmeric. So that's going to help with really reducing the inflammation within our bodies. Um, Copaiba, this is one that I love for any kind of PTSD, for anxiety. Um, I actually love to combine it even with either serenity or adaptive for sleep because it's very calming to the body. So one of the things that we get all the time with Copaiba is, okay, but how does it compare to CBD? Well, let's talk about what happens in our receptors. You know, one of the things that we're actually trying to do with Copaiba and is being successful is again helping with fight or flight, turning off inflammation to the root, whereas CBD is um, it's actually shutting the whole system down. Mm -hmm. So we don't want to not feel because what happens when we don't feel, we have no idea that's how people get hurt, or again, they're thinking I'm doing great, and all the time, all the while, they're still under immense stress. They're not dealing with the issue, and then it's this snowball effect, right? Mm -hmm. Where when we look at copaiba, it's actually helping the receptor sites and actually helping your body stay calm as a whole because of helping with inflammation, calming with anxiousness, with any kind of stress in our bodies. So, you know, you put those two together and you're really fighting inflammation and you're fighting off, um, you know, the, the fight or flight response as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is so, that is so helpful because that is one of the things that so many people struggle with, which is, I mean, that fight or flight. And, and then, um, also, if there's emotions, a lot of emotions are attached to that, right? And if they're yes. not dealing with your emotions, you're not building resilience. Yes. So when you're not building resilience in your body, your body isn't able to say, hey, if I have a stressor that comes towards me, I can manage it. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're, yeah. you're, so by combining, you know, using some, some products that help you manage the symptoms, you're able to actually also manage life stressors that come your way. And then you're telling your mind and your body, Hey, I can manage this. If it comes my way, I'm going to be okay. I don't yeah. have to be in fight or flight. Right. Um, right. And you know, one thing I always tell people too, is you have to look at everything as a whole, which you understand this in yeah. your industry too, is um, just like anything, I'm not going to say this is the only answer. What I'm going to say is what are your life circumstances that you need to change? Is it that you need to stop looking at social media? Is it that you need to not watch this TV show, not listen to this music that stimulates you? Not like we forget that our whole life circumstances also play a total role in every part of this. Because, you know, one of the things that I think is happening so much today is number one, we're losing connection because people are so this, you know, text, 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 instead of picking up a phone and calling, 
yes, I'm guilty of that, but I still love to ha hear someone's voice. Like I, you will still see me on the phone multiple times a day just to say hi to someone because I love that connection piece. Yeah. So we've lost that. And then everybody posts the highlights. Nobody's posting the garbage of their life. Yeah. So what people do is they then get on social media and they're like, oh my gosh, that, that vacation looks amazing. Or she looks so good in that outfit. I wish I could afford those nails or whatever it is, you know? <laughs> and then they start the comparison game. And it's a very dangerous road that they go down forgetting that they're living just like you. They probably woke up. Their kids were probably screaming. They probably were laid out the door. They probably squeezed into that outfit and they're wearing tummy tuckers. Like, you know, all of the <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Like comparison. So that's a big part. I mean, whether, no matter who you are, like you're comparing yourself to other people and, and that makes you feel, I mean, you're making assumptions about this perfect picture that's being presented on social media. Mm -hmm. um, or, you know, I mean, that's more visible. It used to be, it was what was presented when you were at work or when you were at a family gathering and every, you know, let me just put my face on, put my Put, put my mask on. And then when I go home, it's like, oh, finally, I get to be myself, you know, it's yeah. like, but now it's even more public with this social media. Yeah. And I love that you're so vulnerable. Like you have a group, you have a essential oil mm -hmm. group. Do you want to share which one that is? Oh, I have a couple. Want to <laughs> you have several, right? Have several. Yeah. So, I mean, we have one just for our oil users, you know, to really help them once they get started on this wellness journey to keep them educated because this is just a small part of it. You can't just buy a bottle and know exactly what to do. Yeah. And yeah. so we have a group that's really specialized for that. But then I also have, um, well, it's basically on Instagram, um, but I have my natural type one mama's page because my youngest is a type one diabetic. So the truth is this, I love medicine for that reason. I'm so grateful. You know, yes, we use a ton of natural things, but I love insulin <laughs> because yeah. I'm seeing insulin like every day, you know? Um, and that is really about showing multiple things. You know, I want to educate on essential oils because I, I see the power of what they can do with autoimmune. I know mm -hmm that my son's endocrine system is in a constant state of inflammation. I understand that his body has to work harder than the majority of bodies. And I also understand that he is thriving because we're making sure that his body is getting what he needs, you know? So I think there's so many pieces to that to, um, to really help so many people that it's, again, what does your nutrition look like? Um, are you on probiotics? Are you on vitamins that work? You know, are you eating fruits and vegetables? Like all of the things that complete that whole wellness pyramid. And that's what it really comes down to. Like how much are you sleeping? I'm all about routines. <laughs> I love sleep. Um, that's great. I think it's important that we yeah. create that, you know? Yeah. How much sleep do you get a night? I mean, I'm like a nine to 10 hour a night. Awesome. Okay. Well, so that's, that's how you're, that's how you have the energy to run a multi-million dollar company. <laughs> I mean, there I you go, sleep. right? It's the sleep. I think it's so important. I, I can't function on low sleep. Um, my kids thrive on sleep, you know, ever since they were little, they've had an eight o'clock bedtime and they're now 11 and 13 and now it's about nine, but they sleep you know, on weekdays during school, but they're sleeping from nine to six thirty, so they're getting nine and a half hours. And on the weekends, my oldest is sleep until nine. You know, so he's getting sometimes, but he stays up a little later. But he gets about nine to ten hours. Yeah. Um, they and they thrive on it. I really think that's why, like, we've been so fortunate through the, you know, our yes, there's been times that my kids get sick, even with essential oils, but we're able to combat it so much faster, and we're seeing their sickness less and less. You know. Yeah. I mean, my son loves it. He has his own little pack that, yeah. <laughs> that he uses and he just, he loves it and use it for everything you can imagine, you know, when mm -hmm. he was sick and just to kind of help him fight off the bugs, you know, that when you're empowering him, mm -hmm. that's the thing that I think is so important is we have to start them empowering this next generation too, because they're the ones that will be the trailblazers to keep it going and keep people you know, educated on that. And I love that they know, like I, there's nothing more satisfying than seeing my child say, I have an upset stomach and grabbing much oil he needs or mom, can you rub some deep blue? My muscles are super sore. Like, oh, I just love it. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I, I, 
I could definitely go on about this because when I had the flu, when I started this series, I was launching it and I got the flu and I used all these, like I used all these, I looked it up and was like, what do I need? And cause I couldn't breathe. And I used yeah. multiple different oils until I got to the point where I was like, oh, I can breathe. And I felt a relief, a huge mm -hmm. relief because I couldn't breathe. Yeah. And, and it was after that, I swear it helped it. it I swear it helped me get get back on my feet quicker yeah. because of that. And then, you know, just using like, you know, um, like tea with honey and, you know, like different things, you know, some people may not say not honey, but it worked for me, <laughs> honey and, and lemon. And, you know, there's so many things you can do that yeah. help you stay, um, stay well, even, yeah. you, you know, you're going to get sick and mm -hmm. we can't prevent that, but like, how can you help it not get so, so bad that you end up you know, in the hospital or, or worse, you know? Yep. So uh, what would you say are, so for people who are interested in having like a business say, so there's, I know there's some people that are interested in health and wellness. Maybe that's what you, you know, some of you are listening, you might be thinking, well, I want to do that. Like that's, that's, I know that's my purpose. Mm -hmm. um, I have this passion for wellness or passion for health. And so what would you say are some you know, you transitioned into now you, this is what you do. I mean, you're an advocate, a wellness advocate. What are some things that like people can do when they're to transition into a business, starting a business? Uh, yes. I know that's uh, a big ant question. I know. I'm like, okay. <laughs> like a one step, like first step. <laughs> well, I think with anything, anytime you're going to start a wellness business, you have to get it behind a product that you absolutely believe in. And that you feel like whether you were paid or not, you would be an advocate for. Yeah. And so I think that's why I love doTERRA so much is whether or not I was collecting a paycheck, I would be using these products every single day. And so with that, it gives me the inspiration and the passion to actually want to share with so many people because I know the impact that it can have. Mm -hmm. So I feel like that's the number one is um, nobody wants to be sold to. Everybody wants someone invested in them. And so that's what I really feel is I'm invested in their health. I'm invested in the tools to help them on an emotional level because essentially it was help emotionally. Um, I'm invested on the physical and of course the financial as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cause it's created like a lifestyle for you too. Mm -hmm. I mean, now you're able to spend time. I mean, you can, I mean, you're busy, right? I mean, <laughs> it's not like you're sitting around like, you know, twiddling your thumbs or anything like you're <laughs> That now I brought my mom's my mom's words right, <laughs> <Yeah. your thumb. laughs> but like you know I mean you have you have some flexibility mm -hmm. in your schedule do you for your children or what's that what's that like? Absolutely, I mean, I was giggling because guess what? There are moments I just sit around and twiddle my thumbs. Like there really are. <laughs> There's days that I absolutely do because I worked really hard for many years, um, yeah. and now I've created that. You know, in fact kind of like a sidestep to that, to that answer that I will give is one of the questions I was actually, um, I brought to a leader of mine because she was saying, you know, I, I feel like there's some people that really want to grow this business, but they're not seeing the results they want. And I'm like, okay, so let's be realistic that anytime you want to be promoted, whether you're promoting your own self or you're within a job, you're going to give extra effort. Am I correct? You know, yeah. I, oh, absolutely. I, in the, you know, um, business world, if you want a promotion to your job, you're going to go over and beyond what you normally do. In our job, we don't have someone that's sitting with their thumb on us, like saying, you got to do this, you got to do this. It's about what do I want to create? And I saw the vision for what I wanted to create. And so I was very consistent for every single day, every, you know, like Monday through Friday, for the most part, some weekends, yes, I was working weekends for about four to five years, like consistent, consistent action, never like oh, I'm not going to do anything for the month. I was in it. I was grinding hard. And now I look at it and I'm like, guess what? Yeah. A couple years ago, we took two months and went to Hawaii and just played. I didn't work. I just played. Um, yes, I guess I kind of did work. I did some calls and stuff like that, but I wasn't in the grind, so to speak. I, I wasn't having to travel to go teach classes or be on, you know, X amount of things 
So I created now where we can have time freedom. In the summertime, I do play a lot. Yes, I still work, but I play a lot more than I'm working in the summer. Mm -hmm. um, it gives us the ability to, you know, do fun things with our kids or schedule when I want to make sure I'm at my son's basketball game or if they have a yeah, little event at school. I don't have to go ask someone for permission to leave work. I get to just schedule it into my schedule that I'll be gone, you know? Mm -hmm. So it, it has given freedom in that aspect. So I, I look at our life and, you know, almost 40 years old and we're in my world, in my eyes, I'm like, yeah, we're semi-retired, you know, because we're living the dream. Like we get to play. <laughs> yeah. And that, and that's the thing is it's available to anyone. It's just mm -hmm. a matter of, I mean, you really had to get through some fears. I mean, I, I imagine that you had some fears going into it or people might have, you know, said to you like, Oh, what are you doing? Like, why don't you go get a job? I mean, people do say this or like, Oh, you're going to give up your benefits at, you know, this corporation, but it's like, wait a minute. Like there's, yeah, there's some give and take, but look at the rewards, the rewards that you have from, yeah. I mean, taking that courageous action. There's always going to be fear, but there is going to be fear if you're, driving down the road or if you're working for someone there's always fear involved but i think again it it you have to have some attachment you know to what you want to be able to move past it and i always say that when you're in action action will trump fear every single day so sometimes it's that three two one go you know like you gotta do something scared but i also feel like i have a little bit of a drive like tell me i'm not going to be successful watch me do it you know like i want to prove everyone wrong <laughs> yeah that's great um, but I, I, I do believe so much that everything up here, if we don't change it, we won't be successful in any, any part of our life. I really do feel that way. I feel like if we don't master our mindset, because we can sit and analyze all day long what is right and wrong, or we can choose to be like, you know what? Yeah, today was a sucky day, but tomorrow's going to be better. Or yeah, today I had a few things that were frustrating, but I'm going to move forward because I see the bigger vision, you know? Mm -hmm. and. I think it's about making sure that you just keep in action and keep moving and read books, go to events. Like I have been to so many events. I have read so many books. I've listened to so many podcasts because if I get one nugget, that's going to help me in those moments, it was worth it. You know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, this has helped so much. Thank you. I mean, I, I'm thinking that we're almost done here. I think we've gone <laughs> For a while, I mean, there's so much here. This is amazing. Um, yeah, we'll we'll do this again. Some, you know, we'll figure out a way to do this again because there's just so much value that you're providing. So thank you so much. And um, I know that you also we, we kind of talked about something that you'd like to offer. And so you have like a generous gift that you're offering, so anybody who's listening um, can have access to yeah. you. Yeah, I think. Um, so many times that people, they are intimidated, right? In the wellness world, like, where do I start? What does that look like? And so I'm giving um, a free wellness consult. And what that means is it's a 30 minute phone consult, or basically you talk about your two to three top health concerns. And then we address what products and why those products would be the most helpful. And so um, do, how do you want to, do you want me to talk about my email address or do we want to, will it be? Yeah, I think yeah so? I'll go ahead and put it in the I'll give a link in the email. So anyone okay. watching, I'll give a link. So it's just easy. You just click on it. and Yeah. So you can just click on that, send me an email, just put in the header, um, you know, wellness consult or something like that. And then I will reach out to you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you for all your knowledge and support and um, your inspiration. Cause you really are very inspiring. Um, oh, well, thank you. I appreciate you having me here too. It's yeah. super fun. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. So thank you all for joining us. And tomorrow we'll be having another, uh, another session here with um, a new expert. It's going to help you get the inspiration and the courage to rise to your fullest potential and live out your purpose in a healthy and balanced way. So thank you for joining us. And perhaps today you can practice what um, some of the tips that Jessica shared with us so that you can live a healthy lifestyle. And even if it's just shifting your mindset. That may be a first start. Thank you and have a great rest of your day.